Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my AC Valhalla before you buy from their store. And in this video, we're going to take a look at whether it's worth buying the complete map pack. So uh, let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so uh, I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to show you the screenshot because I actually go ahead and already purchased it. I thought you are able to view what you have purchased in the owned section at your store, but unfortunately this is not the case. So as I mentioned, we're talking about the complete map pack which costs those uh, 1000 credits and uh, is it worth buying it? So basically if you acquire it, you will uh, get, uh, let me open this site right here, it has more detailed information about it. So. Uh, it adds new filters that reveals location of unique chests, abilities, territory, artifacts, and opal ores. So when I was buying it, <laughs> I didn't even read into it and I thought it was going to unlock pretty much everything. Uh, I kind of wanted to make my life easier. But to be honest, when I bought it, man, I started to regret that I bought it. Because first of all, it uh, spoils a lot. No, like it's It kind of like maps everything. I'm going to show you how it looks like in the game just in a second. So uh, apart from this you can buy neither uh, the full map pack right map pack or you can buy specific uh, maps right so to be honest first of all all of these maps are are available on the internet so you don't have to like um, you know you just google the map google what you want to find and that's it and you don't have to pay for it so that's another uh, thing that I've kind of like, well, I'm kind of like new to Assassin's Creed games in general. Uh, like the game that I played was Odyssey, but I didn't really, uh, I'd start, I liked the game, but then I had some like, you know, my own things. I'm not going to go into that because it's uh, not the topic of this video. Uh, so I decided, you know, let me buy this map, see what it is all about. It's like my first item that I ever, ever bought from this uh, Assassin's Creed store. To be honest, uh, save your money. <laughs> uh, but it's good to have, to be honest. Like, if uh, you don't have a lot of time to play this game, you can go in. Uh, like, additional insight already in the game is actually cool. Uh, let me go ahead and switch into the game scene now. So, as soon as you've purchased uh, the entire map pack, right, it reveals everything. Opal. But you can buy this map individually and you will not have your map loaded like this, right? But if you buy the maps individually, essentially you'll pay more credits. So it's uh, one side of a coin. If you want to see everything, then go with the, with the complete map pack. If you want to see specific things like just Opal, just go with Opal and uh, you should be ok. Uh, like, it's easy to see and find the unique uh, weapon artifacts besides there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube where to find the full set other youtubers cover it where to go how do you solve the puzzle in order to acquire it same goes for skills right so with the map pack uh, you get access to the opal to the armor sets to the uh, skills to these scrolls over here to the Roman artifacts over here you see you can see this uh, Roman artifact right uh, to the tattoos, this is where you gotta like, kind of like, uh, try to do your run, and if you catch the tattoo, you, you earn it, and like, you get it, right? So I'm pretty sure by now a lot of you have already done this. Uh, and to this thing, which I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, cursed symbol. That's how it's correctly called. I'm actually right next to it. I've done it before. It's basically a cursed item that you need to destroy. So I'm just gonna quickly show it to you. And uh, all right, that curse item is inside this house. All right, there we go. Uh huh. I guess you can go in there like that. Through the roof, maybe? Yeah, through the roof. Come on, get in there. Boom. So, okay, looks like it's not through the roof. Dang it. Oh, come on. I hate this stupid curse thing. <laughs> I should have checked how to get inside there before I actually started recording this. Alright, it's just me being slow. Once you get in inside that house, you just shoot. 
And that's it. Curse symbol destroyed. So it marks the curse symbols and it counts as an artifact. Alright, so what else do we have here? Um, bam, bam, bam. So the skills, the armor set, the opals, all of these artifacts, uh, these scrolls over here, and that's pretty much it. So as you can see, my entire map is loaded with these things. And it's good to have, but it's like, you don't really have to pay for this. That's, that's my, my point over here. But if you want everything to be marked on your map, uh, maybe you can get it. Uh, so it's kind of like 50-50. Like, I, to be honest, when I saw all this markings and stuff like that, I'm like, man. Uh, besides, another thing is that you should know. It does not highlight the mysteries. So when I was buying it, I thought it was going to highlight like mysteries as well. It will not highlight mysteries. Mysteries you still need to unlock. Uh, the other thing is it doesn't highlight all of these chests either. So uh, like, you know, uh, the needed, like the wealth, right? And sometimes the wealth can give you the carbon ignit, the nickel ignit, or what or this one this type of magnet it, it doesn't mark it on the map you still it, it will still be marked as soon as you come close to a specific area or if you just follow the main storyline essentially you will end up uh, opening those uh, locations uh, of course if you go to the uh, sink locations like this uh, this bird right here as, as I originally called uh, well, there's no name for it. Ah, there you go. High point. When you go to the high point, right, and sy synchronize, it will reveal uh, some of the mysteries and all this stuff. So yeah, it's kind of 50-50, to be honest. So I'm kind of awk that I bought it. Uh, but on the other hand, it kind of gives me spoilers. So if you don't want to spoil things for yourself, then uh, don't go with it. Uh, I have th 350 credits left. That's the only credits that I'm going to spend again once more just on some specific weapon to make a review so I'm aiming actually for the daggers once the one of the daggers pops into the opal store uh, instead of using the opal I'm just gonna buy it with credits but I want to see what's the price for it uh, while it's like with opal and make it a review for it um, so yeah uh, that's pretty much it once again uh, as soon as you buy it uh, it will not be in your own section so that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way, uh, when I bought it, uh, one bug happened to me. So when I bought it, it kind of highlighted the entire map, right, with all this stuff. Uh, but then since I bought the uh, the ultimate pack, which gives me access to the Berserker uh, gear, right, this one right here, uh, to a skin to get my wolf as my mount, right and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, what happened is like, as soon as the map updated itself, uh, my character became absolutely naked and all of my gear disappeared, vanished, uh, including the wolf. So I called him and I had a horse. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Uh, in order to fix that problem, you'll need to fully restart your game, log back in and uh, wait for like a couple of minutes. You will see the notification that you got all the stuff back so you can put your gear back, but in order to apply, you will need to go to the stables to apply the skin for your wolf. So essentially, if you did any, uh, like, if you want to get your wolf back, you'll need to go back to the stables. So that's uh, pretty much it that I wanted to mention about this map pack. I, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Uh, by the way, any feedback or suggestions on what sort of videos would you would like to see, like I'm doing some Let's Plays for AC Valhalla, uh, you would like to see, please do comment down below. Have in mind that I am new to Assassin's Creed games in general, so if, uh, if you see me doing something wrong, just point it out, call it out, so I can learn from the mistake and not do it again like in the next video and make these videos a little bit more informative and with a better um, s better structure I'll put it this way so once again thanks a lot for watching if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Clan I'm gamer Z Soul from Ukraine so hi from Ukraine uh, this is a gaming YouTube channel so I'll be covering a whole bunch of different games the main game as a MMO is Fallout 76 uh, uh, so just have that in mind and yeah
Thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.